Get the f back in the kitchen and take your goddamn hands off a fucking video game controller. Fucking stupid bitch. Mostly they will call you a bitch or a whore or a slut. Shut up, bitch. Rape threats, death threats, harassment. After I kill you, I'm gonna be a necro oh and rape your body. Guess what, bitch? I know where you live. You're a fat fucking whore. Female gamers get a lot. Female gamers always get abused. Fuck you, bitch. Just for the sake of them playing games, they get abused. If you make yourself known as a female, it's just a really obvious red flag that they can go after. I'm gonna impregnate you with triplets and then make you have a very late term abortion. Shut up, bitch. Well, my name is Miss 5000 Watts on YouTube, gaming consoles, and pretty much everywhere. I've been gaming since I was like two years old. <laughs> my channel is largely based on just gameplay, and that was kind of a conscious decision when starting it, and people didn't know what I looked like for about a year because I didn't want people to be like, it's a girl, let's go watch her because she's a girl. I wanted it to be like, this is my opinions, this is how I play the game, and this is my gameplay. When it comes to games that I play, I would say that Call of Duty was probably the worst one when it came to negative comments. I think I had my headset and mic on once. Every other game was focusing on the fact that I was a girl. And yes, I'm sure that maybe if I was a guy, they'd say horrible things anyway, but it's just something that they pick on. It's that thing that's there that they can just say, oh, you're a girl, you shouldn't be playing games. And it definitely happens a lot. You might go online and nothing will happen, but there's every likelihood that someone will be like, uh, you know, just reel off some sort of misogynistic abuse. I've talked to a few girls who have YouTube channels or who are just gamers, and they do think about whether they want to actually plug in their microphone, which is a shame. If I'm playing GTA Online, for example, I choose not to use a headset because I know what will happen if I do, pretty much. You're missing out on something. You don't have the feeling of, oh, I'm gonna put my headset on, put my mic on, I'm gonna play this game, talk to some people, talk strategy, and have a great time. I've always been a gamer since I was little and, you know, it's part of my life. I think people just think it's a bit weird that I'm, I play games at all. The community is predominantly male and it's hard to get into it as a girl. But um, the point of gaming is to kind of bring people together. We accept everybody here. If you're coming here to play games and make a bit of an effort to fit in with the community, then you're welcome. I feel like most women play games in some way or form. It's on their phone or, you know, a little bit here or there. Like, even if a woman doesn't play games, they're like, these days, familiar enough with games that it's not really strange anymore. Back in the day, I used to do some stuff like towards women. And looking back now, it's just out of order. Like, completely out of order. Like, back then, I didn't know any better. That's the thing. I was just like, oh, this is just jokes, blah, blah, blah. Women can't play games, blah, 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 blah. And then, obviously, I've got older and I've become a lot more wise and I just realised, like, but back then, I was a fool. Being a female, it makes yourself a target. I have had people assume that I'm a guy and therefore start using very homophobic language towards me and things like that. That's usually, that's the default. If you're not female and they can't go after that, it's homophobic language. Let boys get it. Girls get it. You know, everyone gets it. As a YouTube gaming vlogger, I d of course, of course I get harassment. It's just how it is, like, there's nothing you can do about it. I've seen women get tons of abuse just for the sake of them playing games, they get abused because they're like, you shouldn't be playing games, you're a woman. <laughs> Go back to the kitchen. My name is Jenny Hanover. I run a website called notinthekitchenanymore.com, which is a collection of experiences I've had as a female gamer. Daddy, I got your number, you big fat slut. People get teased and shit-talked on video games, but there's a different element to it when you're a woman. Jenny, your fucking pussy smells like rotten fish. There's kind of a different vibe to it that you don't belong in gaming because you are a woman. When it comes to sexual stuff, women will definitely get it more, way more, like, with the abuse, because it doesn't really work to sexualize guys. It's like, it's just not a thing, whereas for women, it's just like, oh, sick, sick boobs, or, oh, great ass, or great this, great that. Hey, girl. 
You want to have sex? Sometimes on the internet, people seem to fairly randomly send me rape threats. Someone sent me a Facebook message saying that they would rape me if they ever saw me in person. I uh, checked his Facebook account and it turned out that it was actually a, a young boy. So what I decided to do was uh, reach out to someone listed on his Facebook profile and I managed to find his mum uh, incredibly easily actually. I think he was terrified. His mum made him handwrite me a letter of apology and that was mailed to me. So um, I think that worked out well in the end and I doubt that he will ever do that again. The blog started because I was always trying to showcase like what sort of comments I got because people who don't experience it are always surprised and like, oh, these horrible things. It's like, well, this is what I've been talking about, but if I have to show evidence, then cool, okay, we'll do it. I was hosting the European Call of Duty Championships and someone had sent me a message saying, I'd like to finger you. So I said, why does your penis not work? You know, you'll get like a quite a weirdly sexualized comment and you'll respond and then they don't understand why you're annoyed. I had uh, one comment which was, you know, I'll pay you $5,000 a day just to touch your tits. And when I sort of responded, they sort of got really annoyed that I wasn't just taking it as a compliment. Yeah, I would pay you. That's how much I like you. I would pay you money to touch your breasts. How can you not see that as a compliment? As much as sort of people look at kind of the comments I get and think, oh, this is really awful. Actually, the level of comments that I get compared to some other women, which is really hateful, violent, sexually violent comments. I can laugh some of these off, whereas if you're actually in fear of your own self, that's a completely different level. Rape threats, death threats, harassment, um, having private information about myself posted, um, it's become a daily occurrence at my studio. I actually have an employee at my company and her entire role is to just simply handle all the harassment and threats that I get. In 1989, there was a study that came out that said 3% of gamers are women. In 2008, a study came out and 17% of gamers are women. Here in 2015, you can look at the numbers and you know, between 48 and 52% of gamers are women. And that's very threatening to a very certain kind of, of gamer. And what they end up doing is they're so threatened by you know, women in their space that they end up threatening us in ways that are, are quite terrifying. When it comes to YouTube comments especially, because they know what you look like and they know some of your background because they've watched your videos, when they say something like, I'm gonna find you and do this and this to you and all women can't be trusted. When you see stuff like that, that's when it's like, okay, this is a lot more serious than just playful kind of trash talking. One of the death threats I got was so serious, they actually made a Law and Order episode about it. And, you know, someone posted my address and they said, you know, guess what, bitch, I know where you live. You and your husband are going to die tonight. Your dead mutilated corpse is going to be on the front page of Jezebel tomorrow and there isn't anything you can do about it. I'm going to cut your husband's tiny Asian penis off and rape you with it until you bleed. You know, the men in our field, they get to spend their time worrying about the jobs that they do. And unfortunately for women in this field, we have this additional layer of really terrible stuff that we have to deal with on a daily basis. As a woman, we're always taught to be afraid and be afraid of what's out there and oh, keep your mouth shut. Don't, uh, you know, don't say the wrong thing to the wrong guy. You might get yourself in a situation. Awareness on the issue has really kind of amped up in the last few years. Even the New York Times ran a piece on this. I feel like I want to take responsibility and I have that chance and that like tiny little platform to affect some change. So then maybe it'll inspire other women to do it and then when you have enough voices together you can really move things forward. If you compare what it was like online even just two years ago to now, at least now you know that there are um, a lot of other people here going through the same thing. We have to stand up because this staying the same way it's been for 30 years is unacceptable. If you don't challenge things, all you've done is you've just passed it off to the next generation or the next woman will have to deal with it. It would be a disservice to other women who want to go into this industry if I didn't stand up. 
once upon a time it was not fashionable at all for adults to play games. Now you get a lot of content that's rated over 18, therefore it's marketed at adults. So if age is not a thing, then gender certainly should not be a thing. The male gaming community, especially the, the people in the industry, are just so supportive and so angry that it happens and it's, it's really comforting to know that most people also agree that this is an awful thing and it really paints a picture that it is just a vocal minority and not a representative thing and you really have to remember that. In an industry, a gaming industry, where it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, why would you want to <laughs> go backwards? by saying no to women. I think that things are going to get better and I, I like to hope that things are going to get better. It's just, it could take a while. And uh, you know, maybe eventually females will be like the dominant market and games will change entirely and we'll have tons of, of women and, and nobody will be mad at people about their gender anymore. And that would be awesome. <laughs>